Welcome to Kansas. It may seem quiet, but just beneath the surface, something profound is stirring. This place has been loud all day long. A groundswell of hope, opportunity, and success. A huge Kansas crowd is building. And they're already 2 and 0 and off. They're believing in this program what again. What a morning it is! 5 and 0 for the first time since 2009. We're gritty. We're tough. We don't quit. And guess who's going to be ranked in the top 25 for the first time since what 2009? For the Jayhawks, 2022 was a year for the history books. Under the guidance of head coach Lance Leipold, Kansas football reached heights not seen in over a decade. He's brought a culture of winning football here. Their first bowl game since 2008. Lance Leipold has been the answer here, the difference you could say. Kansas fans, they just wanted to be relevant. I think that was a general feeling. And we certainly went above and beyond that last year. We started realizing that once we put the work in and once we really all play together as a team that not too many people can play with us. The success that, that started to show itself on the field gives the confidence and belief that this program can be successful for many years to come. With rising star Jalen Daniels back under center and a veteran majority at the line, the Jayhawks look to build on last year's success and usher in a new era of Jayhawk football. But to do that, they're going to need to build with a clear vision and a player-led culture. Luckily for this team, all they need to do is follow the blueprint. Yeah, let's go, baby. Gotta put that one on the money, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. At the center of their newfound momentum, quarterback Jalen Daniels. Came out here to Chatsworth. Feels good being back home. Being able to be with my friends and family, being able to kick it with them, being able to, you know, decompress before the season starts. After an electric start to the season, Daniels quickly became one of college football's breakout stars. It's a big deal for us to have him. And when you look at football at every level, that's a pretty common denominator is that they have a quarterback who's producing well. Uh, it's the most important position in football. Jalen Daniels is a special person, not just a special quarterback and what he's done for this football program. His abilities as a thrower, as a runner, speak for themselves on Saturdays. We saw what he was doing each and every day, you know, to get to the point where he was, so it was not a shock for us. He really can do whatever he put his mind to, you know. If he got the ball in his hands, he can do whatever he want. But during a fateful matchup against TCU, the momentum of the season took an unexpected turn. Daniels over on the sideline there and an injury timeout. We've had this whole entire offseason, you know, we started so great and the only thing that I could just think of was not like this. Many time a starter or someone that's been impactful goes down, there's that oh oh moment of, of what happens. At the end of the day, it's not just about me. You know, we were 5-0 and as a team. We weren't 5-0 and because I was in the game, so Though I wasn't able to be there physically with the team, I had to be able to still be there vocally and be able to make sure that everybody had their head on straight still. At the end of the day, in life, there's always gonna be something negative that comes your way. But if you're able to stay positive and be able to stay positive about yourself and be confident that you're able to do what you can do, everything's gonna work out at the end of your way. Game winner. It's a great way to end the day. With training camp on the horizon, the Jayhawks aim to make the most of their offseason, which means pushing the team even harder than last year. Let him penetrate. We don't want to see what happened right there. Do it again. Hit. During this offseason, our main emphasis was being able to push the needle. Our team fell short, but it'd be okay. Now, this offseason comes like everybody wanted now. So what did last season do? It set that baseline. We are here to elevate the culture. We're not talking about maintaining anything in this program. We believe in the process so much that along the lines of doing that, what you see on the field is only going to continue to get better. Yeah, our, our guys are they're naturally competitive, so uh, we don't need to do a whole lot generally to, to get them to compete. We want to win. We want to win the Big 12. That's our goal now. This offseason has just been get in there and grind. Everybody has to play their role. Everybody has to find a role. When we go out there, we got to be untouchable, and we got to move on one accord. It doesn't matter how you start and how you finish. You have to come out with a bang. 
you have to be able to make that statement to let everybody know, all right, this is how KU football is going to come.